and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video I'm going to go over my process for designing and implementing VIPs into Battle Royale Tycoon. Let's begin. So in this video I will cover my process for the latest update to Battle Royale Tycoon which had VIPs. They are unique guests which must be kept happy to increase your park rating. The game is out now on Steam so check it out to see what I'm teaching here apply to a real game. So as always, I start off by writing a rough outline of what I want to accomplish in a simple piece of paper. For me, I don't usually go too far in depth with my designs, just focus on a high level picture and start prototype. The VIP is intended to be a very important guest, someone that can give your park a huge boost or a huge penalty. I wanted them to have a very unique sprite, making them easily stand out. I also sketched out the various UI elements that I wanted to create, so I wanted a window that shows the current state of the VIP, it should show a camera view as well as the name and a bar of the current happiness level. And I wanted another window that showed up when the VIP left the park, containing a summary of what the guest thought and what bonuses the player got for his final happiness level. So the first thing was to make a VIP spawn as a special guest with a special sprite. I created a simple class to handle a VIP and the guest stores that VIP class instance. So any special behavior I want, I can just test if the guest is a VIP or not. And just like that, I had a guest behaving like all the others, but with a unique name and sprite. The VIP is identified by a enum value which defines all of the possible VIPs. And based on that, it selects the correct name and sprite. Then I got to work on the UI elements, first creating the window that shows a view of where he is and what he is doing. This works very much like the normal guest window, it's just a camera that is constantly following him. I've done a video on a character portrait window so check that out to see how it works. The bar is set up like any other bar, it just shows his current happiness level. So with some sprites and moving things around the VIP window was working correctly. Then it was time to work on the exit window. This window shows up when the VIP leaves the park. On the left side, you see a camera that has the VIP doing a special animation. Then you can see his name and his final happiness. Based on the happiness he left with, I created certain tiers for a special money reward. So if his happiness is under 30, there's no reward. If above 50, the player gets $500 and so on. Also on the window, you can view every single one of his thoughts. In the game, thoughts are extremely valuable since they show you exactly what your guests are angry about and what you need to fix. So having all the thoughts in the exit window is very nice to make sure you do better for the next one. In my original design, I also wanted some way of notifying the player that a VIP was coming soon. I thought about putting a text pop-up in the middle of the screen, but that would simply clutter the game. So I use the side messages, which is a really useful helmet for displaying certain messages. I simply add the message saying the VIP is coming next month and another one when the VIP has entered the park. Another thing in my design was to have an intro animation. So based on my original design, first I made it on the VIP window. It would show the animation and then go back to the normal view. However, that one isn't being as visible as I would like. So I separated that and made it into another window and put it front and center. It's larger and it just shows the VIP and his name. So that's one example of how I iterated upon my original design. Right now they all play the same simple animation, but in future updates I will add specific animations for each specific VIP type. Then to make the VIP more visible I also created a nice thought pop-up. It shows a icon for whether the thought is positive, neutral or negative, and the thought text. The pop-up shows up every once in a while and stays visible for a few seconds. So even without opening the VIP window, you can still see some of his thoughts at a glance. Using that pop-up, I wrote a few messages specific to each VIP. There's an entry message, another one when their energy is half empty, and another one when they leave. These special messages are visible for longer and add a bit more variety to the game by making each VIP very unique. Lastly, I created a VIP specific happiness bar that is used to calculate the park rating. The VIP rating increases or decreases based on the exit happiness of each VIP. 
It's pretty simple, if they only leave much happier than the current rating, then the rating goes up, and if not, it goes down. The final park rating is calculated from all the various ratings. So with all of those elements, the VIP system was pretty much done. The only thing left to do was make a bunch of unique VIPs. The animation system that I'm currently using is the same one that I've used for several games now, so that means I have a bunch of cool units that I can use from previous games. For example, I grabbed a bunch of units from Hyper Knights Battles, like the Spartan, Persian and Zombie. From Hyper Knights I grabbed a cool looking knight. From Ninja Tycoon I grabbed the Ninja and Peasant. And a bunch of other interesting characters that were used as workshop items for Hyper Knights like the Archangel and the Shadow King. Also some TF2 characters like the Medic, Soldier and Demo Man, which again were used as workshop items. Finally, some sprites that I created specifically for videos on this channel, like the Sheriff and Bandit, which were made for the video creating the Deadeye system from Red Dead Redemption 2. Each VIP has their own sprite, name and special messages. In future updates, I will add more characters from Survivor Squad and Blueprint Tycoon. So this is yet another example of how powerful it is to reuse code and use the same systems every time. If I had made a completely new animation system, then all of this would have to be created from scratch. So that was it for creating the VIP system for Battle Royale Tycoon. As you can see, my process is relatively simple. It starts off with a piece of paper containing the core ideas I want to implement, and then I start prototyping and iterating upon it. I believe this system is a great addition to the game since it helps keep the experience fresh. When the player starts getting bored of seeing the same guests over and over, a VIP will eventually pop up with a unique sprite and a special message. The game is out now on Steam, so check it out to see what I'm teaching here apply to a real game. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.